There's a sandwich for you. Okay. I need just something to eat. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, people. Oh. <laughs> you need to stop just hitting record on me. Hi, people. How you doing? Got her. <laughs> he does that a lot to me. He just pushed record. <laughs> It's not fair. Got her. <laughs> hey, people. So. Oh, that's neat. Hmm? I put Z-Horse on the uh, clipboard. Oh. Uh, and you can, like, the clipboard rocks back and forth. Huh. Nice. As, well, it's... It's something. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe nice. Depends on yeah, if it, it gives you issues. Yeah, but it's rocking and I'm not trying to rock it. So <coughs> I'm going to have to move it over to the other seat. <coughs> Sorry, people. Readjusting myself slightly. And that's another issue for just sitting there pushing record and not getting yourself ready. So, we'll figure it out. I don't care. Although, that's pretty dark. And then it lightens up. It's the phone. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know if you can even go into a set. I haven't figured out if you can go into setting and change that. I tried. Like don't get me tried. started on that. I tried. Okay, so it's just not, fi it's just not fixable. I Gotcha. No, it probably is if you're 12. Oh. You know, like if I had a 10 year old over here, like they could probably free, like figure this thing out. I no know. problem. Me, on the other hand, I tried to fiddle with it and I got friggin' stuck in the friggin' picture mode and it was like <laughs> putting filters on things and I'm, I was getting frustrated and I kept taking pictures of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was getting annoyed, so. Yeah, Calm I, down. We can't afford to have you throwing phones across the room, or the. I can't throw this phone anyway. We're in this house. This, like, <laughs> I can't swing. You open the door and you tuck it towards the fence. <laughs> yeah, That's why I should have said that. Don't I'd do that. Probably take my elbow out. <laughs> Don't do that. I'd have to get out of the house. <laughs> go three, go three or four feet, then you can throw a temper tantrum. <laughs> you can't do that kind of crap in here. <laughs> yeah, you can't even like throw a correct ten temper tantrum in this house. It's too no. small. Yeah, that don't work. <laughs> I can hear that rain. So it's coming down like cats and dogs out there. So we decided to stop making runs for a little bit. We have already gotten a few out. Um, we took our main guy and his roommate over uh, grocery shopping. Then we went on a nice little excursion going out and hitting some new people which was cool you know like while we had while we had our main guy with us uh we saw the one one guy so i put down the window and i told him yeah we'll be back in like 20 minutes and when we came back he was so like he got a friggin' smile from ear to ear. And like, because I guess he wasn't really expecting that we were going to come back. Just the simple fact that we came back. He didn't care what we had in the van. He was just happy that we actually did come back. And we actually were checking on him. Like, that by itself made his day. Like, 
he really like halfway didn't even care what we had in the van. At least until we said socks. And then he perked right up. He was like, You got dry socks? Like, yeah, we got dry socks. He was like, I, I don't care if they're. He, he didn't care. He, he didn't care if they had dots on them. He didn't care if they had little girly things on them. He didn't care. He yeah, just, I warned dry them. Dry socks, I'll take them. I warned them some of them are kind of girly. -ish. He's like, I don't care. I'll take them all. I'll, I'll take as many you, as you're yeah. willing to give me. Yeah. Oh, he's all about them socks. Everybody always is, though. They're gold out here. Yeah. They really are. Yeah, especially on a rainy day. Oh, yeah. To have a pair of dry socks. And I mean, like, the ladies here. You guys are awesome. Like, all the socks that we had in the back, each, each pair is, like, individually put into its own plastic bag and sealed up. So, like, even if you throw it in your pack, it's not going to... Those socks aren't getting wet. Like, there's just so much care and love put into everything. Like, from the ladies from this church. Like, they're an absolute blessing. Not only that, it, it's a plastic bag to use for anything yeah, you want. Yeah, after you, use, you know, pull those socks out, you can either put your dirty ones into that bag and not stink up your whole pack or use the bag for whatever like plastic bags are useful out here ziplocs are useful they you really know. are <laughs> to be able to throw stuff into your pack and not have it get wet and not have it get funky and yeah ziplocs of varying sizes are are something that a lot of the homeless people you know or if they will cling on to if they are wet and funky, you can separate it from other from stuff. From all your other stuff. So everything else doesn't get wet and funky. I'm looking for that soda. Oh, sorry, I apparently hit it on you. That's all we have left. We need to go get more. Yeah, I This one's pretty much, this is done. Never mind, that one is done. Yeah, it's done. So... Yeah, we haven't stopped. We haven't t really taken a break break or anything. We will at some point. Uh, the rain's nice though right now because it's slowing us down. So, yeah, that's not bad. It's forcing us to take a break. Yeah. So... I was being stubborn. <laughs> I was going to just keep making my runs any up and way. And somebody said no stop and made it rain. <laughs> yeah. Now you got to take a chill break and go back inside. <sighs> yeah, I know. It's frustrating though. I want to be out there. And that's the other thing. When it rains, people go into hiding, so we don't see our normal people we see in, in yeah. anyway. Yeah. It's like, like they all disappear. The ones that have to fly a sign, they'll be out. The ones that are soaking wet already and just kind of hit that level of, like, they just don't care anymore are still out because once your clothes get wet they're wet there's nothing you can do about it you might as well just keep wearing them because that's the only way you can dry clothes out here it's just to wear them until they're not so wet which sucks because then you're draining all the friggin heat out of yourself and, you know and then they get sick you know So, you know, if we had more ponchos, I'd be out there right now. But, like, I got, you know, we got no more ponchos. 
I'm not sure if we even have any socks left. I think we do. I think they're all pretty much girly. Yeah, at this point, they're the smaller girly socks. Yeah. All, all the men's socks are gone. Yeah. We was, had at least a dozen to 20 ponchos, and we already given them out, so. Yeah. They, we went, need, they went fast. We need to prepare for a little bit extra ponchos. We didn't realize they were going to go that fast. Yeah. It's trial and error. Hey. We're still trying to figure out what we need. Yeah, but what we need is always going to change. I know. It's like, it's like trying to like preemptively get stuff that they're going to need. Like it's almost impossible. You can do your best. You know, and it, that's that's the best you can do. And we've only been doing it for maybe less than a month, so. No, it's been more than a month now. Has it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we still haven't been doing it that long. We're still trying to figure yeah. out what people would really want. So we know we have... We well, know we can keep more of it. What people don't want well, as much. With the van. Yeah. I mean, we've been doing it now for two and a half years. But... Well, the van's new for us, yeah. Yeah, the van is definitely new. The van and the setup, we're still trying to figure out how to keep, get yeah. that, like, going, going. Yeah, like, with the van, we're able to spread things out and organize stuff so that, like, it's easy to see everything. It's easy to, like, see what we have, what we don't have. So, it doesn't take that long to rummage through everything and to be able to gather up a bag. You know. It's just some things we might need more of and some things yeah, when we, were, we don't need when, as much of. When we were doing it with the Luz of Ego, with our house, it was a, it was a hot mess. <laughs> like, it was an absolute hot mess. Like, we're not blaming anybody, but there has been times where we go to be like, where is this? And somebody yeah. thought it was a, like, somebody grabbed it accidentally. Yeah, we've, we've had things that have walked, grown legs and walked away while using the house to make our runs. But, you know, because it's hard for people to tell what we're trying to give away and what we're like, no, that's, that's not part of giveaway. That's our stuff. Yeah, we're not mad at anybody. It happens. Yeah. I mean... They might have not have realized and yeah. grabbed it. But it's different now, now that we're using the van. Look at the window. Not sure if it's somebody or just a drive-by. Okay, I heard them. Okay. Then it's a just, just a drive-by if they went by that fast. Yeah, just another drive-by. Or people will put stuff in the pantry oh, and yeah. drive uh, through and go out the other way. Hold on, I, I want to address something. So today, before we came back, we had a follower. Somebody following us from Wilmington for a good 25 minutes. Trailing us, like making every turn we made, just literally following us. Filming us the whole time. Now, I don't mind people coming up and talking to us. I don't mind people driving by taking pictures. Don't mind people driving by and taking videos. I don't mind any of that. If you see us on the road, I don't mind you like coming up and getting our attention and saying whatever. Like, I don't mind any of that. Like... I don't mind people wanting to, like, come check out the house. Don't mind that either. But stalking us... And, like, basically chasing us around... That's not cool. That's not cool. We need that kind of crap to stop. 
I mean, it's just, it's just dangerous. And it's unsettling, you know? Like, why you need to film me for that friggin' long in the first place, you know? Like... And why are you following us? Yeah, like, that kind of stuff. That's something that comes along with the, the territory here that would we don't appreciate um now we've had people do stuff like when we were in the house and we'd pull up to a red light we've had kids jump out and run up alongside of the house and quick take a picture and run off again that shit's weird it's funny we don't mind <laughs> As long as you do it safely, we don't want any, want any yeah, get it like, hurt. But that's that's fine. It's a little weird. <laughs> it, like it'll make you be like, "The hell's going on?" Like, but teenagers doing teenage crap, I don't care about. You know, like it's harmless. Might not be the wisest thing to do, jumping out at a red light and running up to somebody else's vehicle. Especially when that person might be a crazy old coot like me. But I've gotten used to people doing it, so I, I don't react to it. I just go, oh, it's this stuff again. Okay. And I just ignore it. But following a kind of stalk stalking... That's not cool. That's excessive. So. Please stop. Yeah, just making a plea for that kind of stuff to to cease and desist, if, if at all possible. I mean, I know I'm cute, but come on, man. I'm not, I'm not that cute. You are sexy, baby. You are sexy. <sighs> I, I, am, I am not cute enough. To get a stalking charge, okay? Even if you are, please stop. Yeah. <laughs> I. Besides, we're not famous. We're not celebrities. We're just two idiots that live in a box. Like, um, it's not that special. Honey. Kind of technically are to a point. What, Delaware famous? Yes. <laughs> we are Delaware famous. <clears throat> we are a B to C f celebrity type. Oh, kind no. of famous. So we oh, kind no. of already are <laughs> to a point. So I don't think you. We're, don't not, think that we're not Basin Road Betty famous, are we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We might be. <laughs> To some people, we might be. We have literally had people come over and say, Oh my gosh, it's you. Can I get a picture? So yeah, we, we are kind of famous. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been kind of weird. Because like... Come on, people remember, we're homeless. You know? Like... If you haven't showered in several days and your hair looks like this, do you really want your picture taken? Do you really want people coming up and hugging up on you? And you, like you're trying to keep your arms down because you're like, like, quick, I need a smoke check. Yeah, you don't want to lift your arms and knock somebody out. Yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> that might be a whole different issue. If you lift an arm and you knock somebody out that's trying yeah, to come it, take a picture and give you a hug. <laughs> that's been a little weird. Like. I, I still haven't quite figured that one out. What happened? I don't know. I left my arm and he fell to the ground. <laughs> this one might need some help. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, we do our best to stay clean and smell fresh, but. You can only do so much out here sometimes. Like, 
like obviously I'm still wearing the same clothes I've been wearing for the last two weeks. Yeah, Angie, we're coming to visit you to say yeah. hi and do some Reminder. laundry. Hey, Angie, we're we're coming down to see you and Scrumpy, and we might be dragging a couple of bags of clothes behind us. <laughs> so free up your schedule. Oh, speaking of pictures, uh, where, I'm not sure where they were. I put them in the. Oh, you put them there, in this thing. But I looked in there, and they're not in there unless they're in the little piece. I don't know. They disappeared. Okay, they disappeared. Oh, they disappeared. Okay, okay. Hold on, I got them. I got them. I got them. Oh, okay, you moved them. Okay. Yeah, I only got a few spots I can put stuff in. Like, I just put them in there so they wouldn't get beat See, up. you go random. You're always rogue. And I don't know why, but like, you go rogue. Like, when you put stuff somewhere, I have no idea where to look. I have if a I put something somewhere, there's a pretty good chance it's going to be in one of two or three spots, depending on what it is. But anyway, the pictures that were up on the wall, we've gotten a couple of questions about them. There. That's a picture of me back in 1994. Annoyed at my first fiance because I was trying to get a tent set up at the uh, Woodstock. So, and she's over there bugging me. I'm trying to take pictures. Yeah, so that's that look on that face right there of, you know. Why are you bugging me? Yeah. Why aren't you over here helping? And then the other one that was up there. Yep, that's me, people. I think you're like 20 there. Eh, it's about 94, so, yeah, 20. 20, 21. Right around there. So, those are the two pictures that were up on the wall. And just in case nobody has have seen them, <sighs> okay. the people that haven't, that's his back. And then, the other picture that sits up there is my old man. Sir Thomas Bailey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that happy mug. Look at that happy mug. We love and miss you, Dad. Love you, Pops. So, for the people that have been wondering what those pictures up on the wall were, that's them. Angie, that was for you. Yes, because Andy actually specifically she asked. She specifically asked. What they were. Yeah. So. And yeah, I, I don't necessarily like showing my pictures, but oh well. I think you look cute in those pictures. Yeah, whatever. But, uh. Yeah, everything's good. I mean, we've gotten used to the drive-bys with the house. I mean, that happens all the time. We're kind of, we're used to it. It doesn't bother us. We're not quite used to the van, but I haven't thought of a lot of people were probably seeing us in the van, so we're not used to people like... Yeah coming around and saying hi because a lot of people don't know what the van are what like right. that we're driving the van yet and that might have something to do with today and that guy in that friggin it truck. might have but still like word might be going around that we're driving a van now come talk to us like pull up next to us at a red light say hey you got a few minutes and i'll pull the frig over i'll talk to anybody i don't care like, yeah, please don't follow or stalk us. Yeah, without it's, saying nothing, leave. Yeah, please. It, it's downright creepy. It really is. And like, instead of watching traffic, I gotta watch where you're at. It just it becomes, you know. It also becomes dangerous. Yeah. Besides, it's downright creepy. You know. 
Like, so please stop. Yeah, like that kind of thing. Like, I won't stop and try to help out the homeless when I've got somebody following us and trailing us. Like, especially if you're following us with a camera. Like, we're specifically trying not to film these people. A Unless of, they want us to. Yeah, if they ask us to, then I'll say yes. But we don't even ask. Like, because we already know most of them don't like it. Most of them don't even like the idea of it. Like... Which is understandable yeah, when we're trying like, to respect people's wishes. Yeah, if you're at your worst, do you want somebody coming up and taking your picture? No. I mean, you might just be having an off hair day and you'll get mad at people for taking your picture. Now, imagine if you had an off two years. And, like, you're homeless, and you can't wash your clothes, and you can't take a shower, and you can't get groomed, and you, like, do you really want somebody sticking a camera in your face then? I wouldn't. I still don't like when Scott throws the camera on me, and my hair is not nice, and it, I'm not looking yeah. my best. You guys know that. I always joke about, I'm not going to break gets, the camera. Yeah, she gets mad at me for throwing a camera on when it's not even aiming at her. <laughs> like, so, I totally understand where these people are coming from, you know? So, yeah. But that's, well, that's enough on that. A lot of that is because you like to hit record on me without me knowing. <laughs> Yeah. So that's where some of that comes from. He does. Yeah. He likes to push record without let me know he's doing it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's okay, though. For you, it's okay. For everybody else, it's not. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not sticking the camera in your face, either. Yeah, so. You know, I'm just turning it on. They can hear you in the background. That's not quite the same. So. Yeah, that weirded me out today. Like. I'm used to. I'm used to it a little bit. But that guy was downright insistent on, like, staying right on our friggin' tail. Yeah, Scott did a couple of really weird squirrely remove maneuvers safely, and yeah. the guy just kept following him. Yeah, there was one point on 13, I cut across three lanes of traffic to make a friggin' turn. And the guy almost got into two friggin' accidents, cutting across all three friggin' lanes to be able to get right behind us again. Yeah, so, it was, it was like... More than blatantly obvious, he was friggin' following us. Like, I went through several maneuvers like that, and he just stayed on us. Yeah, he was following us for like... 25 friggin' minutes. Yeah, at least. Yeah, that... That's a little excessive. Please don't do that. Yeah, that... It took up part of our day today. And we got better things to be doing, you know, than trying to avoid that kind of crap. <sighs> but, you know. Anyway. Yeah, it's kind of our fault for being on, on YouTube, I guess. I mean, it comes with the territory. I assume. I, like, I don't... I haven't heard other people bitching about it. So, like... I'm just assuming this is a YouTube problem. I don't know. I'll be honest. <laughs> I've never really been famous, so I don't have to deal with a lot of that stuff. 
So I don't know if it's common but, or again, not. we're not famous. Technically, we kind of are to a point. Again, like I said, duller famous is not famous. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're different things. Hey, Delaware famous is better than some, I guess, sometimes not being famous at all, maybe? <laughs> it depends on how you look at it. Yeah. No need. Either way. Love you guys. We love you. Um, and we will take a break at some point. We will, you know focus more on us at some point but for now focusing on us is pretty much just taking care of laundry yes and uh worrying about the next shower other than that we're good we are oh yeah on that note timmy we are going to be calling you soon yeah. for a shower timmy we love you brother happy birthday Happy anniversary. Happy uh, May the 4th be with you. And, uh. Sorry, we've been busy. We're going to give you a call. Yeah. Yeah, we don't make good friends. You know, we're shitty friends. We're not good at a lot of stuff, like calling people and keeping track of things or. We're trying, though. We're trying to get yeah, better. Yeah, we're trying that. to be, get better. You know. But anyway, we love you guys. And we'll see you again soon. Alright? Later. Later.